Probably you have heard about Gamma to create a slide deck and a PowerPoint presentation, but I want to show you another tool that I learned how to use and it's really, really good. It's called GenSpark. Let's take a look at it. Hi everyone, today we will learn a new way of using AI to generate a slide deck that is not Gamma. But before we do that, please consider subscribing the channel and also following us on LinkedIn. It helps us a lot in our initiatives to promote the use of AI in project management. But let's go back to the slide deck. All of us, we know a lot that Gamma is a fantastic tool. I'm a user and I'm even a paid user of, of Gamma and I use it a lot. But what happens many times is that Gamma uh, tends to repeat a little bit too much the same pattern and the same design, you know, the arrow going down and this. So what happens? It starts to leave, when you use it a lot, start to leave some traces of AI generated content. And then uh, a colleague and a connection from LinkedIn generally reached out to me and Savio Bezerra, and he said, Ricardo, have you tried GenSpark? And I said, no, not at all. I know that GenSpark is a super agent that was developed in China that has, I would say, a lot of traction in the market. But I said to him, no, I never, and say, you must try it. And then he generally sent me a video, a short video, and I decided to, in some ways, replicate this video with you. So let's see how we do that in a real case. So I'm here on ChatGPT and I will use ChatGPT to help me to craft the prompt to be placed uh, uh, inside GenSpark. I'm, I'm using this just because I believe that ChatGPT 03 is better on doing that than GenSpark. So what I'm doing here, I will paste the, the problem. So I am, uh, you are an experienced data analyst with strong skills in statistic, data cleaning and business oriented storytelling. You master Python and this. So it's explaining who I am. I want you to evaluate the attached data set and I will do what? I will attach a data set. Okay. A data set that is a hospital data set that is a uh, a, a big data set to help us to analyze. And this, of course, is not a real uh, data, data set, but just to give you some, some food for thought. Okay. Then it's saying, explaining the task that I need, the data set overview and everything. At the end, I want to create a slide deck. But what I want here now is a text report to help me to move to GenSpark and do the slide deck. So what I do, I press here. Remember, O3 uh, is a thinking process, so it takes a little bit more time than uh, the, the 4.0, that it's uh, a much more direct, but this creates a recurring process of connecting to the LLM. And this makes our life a little bit easier when we need to have some thinking process. Of course, every time I talk about thinking process, we need just to be mindful. A computer is not thinking. We are calling that process a thinking because it's a recurring process. You go, uh, you do the first round and you go back again and you test again. This is why we call these models reasoning models. So what is happening is doing this reasoning process, even if you can see here, even with, uh, I would say, some Python, open a zip file and doing all of this. Remember, I just deliver a zip file, okay, with some fake data inside to be a source for this report as a data analyst that I need to, to analyze. And then with the reply of this, I will go to GenSpark and prepare my slide deck. Three 
minutes and one second later, okay, the thought process is over and then we can see here the report, okay? So it's creating everything, exploring, all making all the analysis, the age structure, everything I need uh, here. So what I will do now, I will take this reply here, okay, this reply, and I will bring it back to the end here. I will copy this and then I will access GenSpark Super Agent. And GenSpark is a Chinese multi-agent. It does so many things, but I will use AI slides. I will click here on AI slides. It will open a prompt for me, enter your slides. Then I will copy my ChatGPT 03 report here. Remember, if you want, you can create, do everything here, but I prefer to do this way because remember, I want to do an analytical report. Then I press enter and then I just need to wait and it's thinking and it will be developing my slide deck on the right side. So now I just need to wait a little bit until the slide deck is ready. So right now it's done. It took about five minutes to create for me, plus of course, uh, the three minutes on O3 plus my work, I would say 15 minutes to do everything. And this is the set of slide decks. You can see it's, it's a much more analytical slide deck. It's not so generic like um, the Gamma one. Uh, and I can say Ville and look, I can check. And remember, it's built with HTML. So what, what happens, it's I have here all the slides with all the information, all the charts, everything in a much more analytical way on that. And what I can do is I can export into a PDF file, for example, and it will generate for me a PDF file of my slide deck with everything. Of course, I, I want just to highlight two things. The first. Every time you're using an LLM, you need to be very mindful on what type of information can you put on this type of tool. This tool is excellent. I do it, I use it a lot, but I struggle when I'm using data of clients because of course I cannot use this tool. What I do is I create a generic approach and I create, I would say, an uh, anonymization process to make sure that I have some of the insights without uh, leaking any, any sensitive data to the platform, okay? So I can download it here, the PDF, and I can open the PDF here. So did you see? So this is the PDF of the slide deck. It's a, it's a very analytical slide deck with much more information than traditionally Gamma is. So this is one tool that I am using, it exports to PowerPoint. Remember, every time you export, you lose some of the HTML content on that. And one important thing, it, this is the same at, uh, as Gamma. Sometimes one page is smaller than the other, but on PowerPoint, all pages are the same size. So what happens is many times you find blank spaces when you export to a PowerPoint slide, but it, but it's much better. I did that in, I would say, 15 minutes. So again, I want just to thank you, Savio Bezerra, for his help and his insight. I'm, I'm very happy to receive this kind of feedback and suggestion. And on a final message, please consider subscribing the channel and following us on LinkedIn because we put a lot of effort trying to promote and increase the awareness of the use of AI in project management. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.